How would you like to learn how to make shepherd's pie? Lamb shepherd's pie. Well, stay tuned. Welcome to another episode of Dr. Fantastic Cooks. I'm in my kitchen in Ambergris Key Island on the, in Belize and uh, been here five months now and uh, done a few of these cooking episodes. I've done a lot of them uh, over across America, in Ukraine, in um, Egypt, a lot in Egypt. And uh, I'm going to be leaving the island and uh, hopefully you'll follow me while I go around the world and cook in more places, giving you my favorite recipes and what have you. Today I'm cooking something I've never cooked before, shepherd's pie. And uh, so I looked at some recipes and found one I liked uh, and I had most of the ingredients. I think I have all the ingredients actually. But, um, you know, I've gained a lot of weight on the island. And the first commitment to kindness is be kind to yourself. I love to eat. So I'm gaining weight. Does, does it bother me? No. I mean, it, that make me, I'm not thrilled about it, but I'm not quite exercising enough as I should. I do a little bit of exercise. But um, there, I have a little saying, if you want to lose weight, which a lot of people do, and, or if you want to gain weight, it's the same four letters. It's E-L-E-M. Remember that, E-L-E-M, whether you want to lose weight or gain weight. If you want to gain weight, exercise less and eat more, which I'm doing. If you want to lose weight, it's eat less and exercise more, E-L-E-M. And because, uh, you know, but you got to be happy how you are. you got to love yourself if you're fat, if you're skinny. Love yourself because if you don't love yourself, who the hell's going to love you? And we all need love. We all need happiness. And uh, that's what I'm traveling around the world, to spread kindness. Because when you're kind to people, they love you. And uh, it also, uh, I've been, there's a report out of Ohio that says um, if you do it random acts of kindness or just it, or, or kind, it reduces stress, anxiety, and depression. How about that? So what are we going to do here? We're going to uh, fire it up. It's... um. It, I made the mashed potatoes ahead of time, and I've never put, I usually don't put garlic in my mashed potatoes, but I did, oh, I did uh, today, and I just tested them, oh, butter, half and half, um, garlic, oh, delicious, but I cooked them ahead of time because on a shepherd's pie, they go on top of the, uh, of the meal or the dish, and uh, they're going to be baked, so they're going to warm up anyway. So what are we going to do here? We're going to heat the pan. I thought I got everything ready, but, you know, it, this is live television, so but there you go. Heating the pan, throw a little oil in there, not much. You don't need much. Tablespoon, I think that's what it calls for. I've got my little cheat notes here because as I've never cooked this before, I had to write down exactly the steps. So, the um, okay. Typically, I, um, it's hot in in uh, on the island, so I have a fan blowing, and typically it blows the flames, so it's not quite as hot as it should be. Let me just turn it a little bit. You know, I'll, I'll suffer for you guys. I'm suffering for you here. Okay, so well, that's heating up. So, uh, one white onion, I, white, red, green, whatever you want to use, but uh, calls for white onion. So, I like red onion myself. Oh, here's another thing I made earlier because I like to eat while I'm cooking. I made some pico de gallo. Some people call it salsa. And, you know, the, 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 I have certain rules about um, cooking. And one of the rules is to have fun in the kitchen. Cooking's fun. Teach your spouse. Teach your boyfriend or girlfriend. Teach your kids. Cooking is so much fun, and eating is even more fun. But, but uh, one of my rules is, I have certain rules for cooking, and that's to have a cocktail while you're cooking, because if it doesn't come out, you don't feel so bad because you had a cocktail or two. So here's to cooking. Second rule is, you know, I can do anything in life if I have the right tools. In cooking, call a knife. Measuring cups, I don't usually use measuring cups too much, but as I've never cooked this before, I am using measuring cups. So you saute the onions, 
And um, this, you can use beef or you could use ground lamb. I am using ground lamb. I made a, um, a, a lamb curry last week. It's on the show here. It was off the charts. Made a steak tartare last night. Delicious. Uh, night before, fresh lobster. It's lobster season here on the island. That was fantastic. Oh, my God. It was delicious. Served it on some fettuccine with a um, cream sauce. It was great. Oh, so here's what I was going to say. Because I like to eat while I'm cooking, I made some pico de gallo. And pico de gallo is just tomatoes, jalapenos, cilantro, um, red onion. And you can see that look, how that looks there. It's just delicious. Mmm. Meaty meat. Just about five minutes for onions to break down. I put onions in everything. I love onions. I put them in salad. I can't cook eggs or anything without onion. I just, I just think it adds flavor to it all. Mmm. Mmm. I typically eat half a meal while I'm cooking as well. I like eating. You know, life is what you make it. One of my sayings as a philosopher, self-appointed philosopher that is, is your life is a movie. You're the star of that movie. You're the writer, director, and producer of that movie. Make a fantastic movie. No one's going to make it for you. You have to make it yourself. Now, I'm going to be sweating here in this kitchen because cooking... Well, it's fun, it's, in the, it's hot in the kitchen. That's why cold beer is always great. Oh, that tastes good. I'm having so much fun. Have fun in the kitchen. Have fun. I tell you, I'm grow, grow, when COVID first started, that's when I started my journey, 1187 days now. And uh, I give a lot of advice to, to people because they were sequestered in their home. I wasn't. I wasn't about to stay in my home. So I left everything behind, gave everything to my wife, kids are already grown, and uh, decided to go around the world and teach the three commitments to kindness, which quite literally, as you all know by now, solve all mankind's problems. It stops war, violence, pollution, everything. Okay, so that's about cooked. Looks pretty good. Now, ground lamb. You can't go wrong with lamb. Go with the wood one now. <sighs> Gotta love cooking. Gotta love eating. You know, life is very short. And if you know how to cook, you don't have to rely on anyone. You know? Imagine if we have problems, the world has problems, and you have to cook. You can't go, the electricity goes out or you have to learn, you have to be able to fend for yourself. Boy, you got to know how to cook. Can't depend on other people. You can't depend on anyone but yourself. You are the center of your, the universe. You are the most important person on the planet. The most important person on the planet. You. Gain some weight. Don't bother yourself. Stress will kill you. It killed my mother. In, in her 30s, I think 38, 39, killed her. Stress kills, kills. The mind is amazing. It, uh, if you know about the subconscious and, or even the conscious mind, it's pretty, it's pretty incredible. Pretty incredible. You could will yourself to death. You could will yourself out of sickness. I just saw a report the other day or a story. A guy had, um, what do you call it, arthritis, and they said, you're going to need an operation. But uh, we can do that. So they put him under, and uh, they didn't do the operation. And when they, uh, he came out from being under the anesthesia, they said, operation was a fantastic success. And guess what? He didn't have arthritis anymore because he thought they did the right thing. Placebo works all the time. The mind is amazing. And uh, in, the, in the future, we're going to use telepathy to speak to one another. 
we already kind of do. Your dog will give you an eye. Even your dog, if your dog will get you, you know he got into some trouble. Or the wife gives you a look, and you know what she's thinking. You know what she's, you know, she's mad or whatever. So we are amazing creatures. And the mind is just being discovered, uh, the powers. Um, and they say we're all one. We're all one mind. Some little brilliant guy like Einstein said that. We're all, we are all one mind. We're all one in the universe. And they're discovering quantum entanglement. They're discovering some amazing things. There's not enough time. And, you know, I've dedicated my life to learning, um, not working. But um, there's so much information coming out of every day. So much information. It, it's just, it's mind-boggling. Now, I'm going to turn. It just seems like me. It's not, not quite enough. It's that, it's that fan. It's, it's, I'm going to turn in some more because I, I need to. You got need, got to have the heat. It was like cooking outdoors. You ever cooked outdoors uh, in a, in a um, storm or in a wind uh, storm? I did one of my cooking shows in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Outdoors, I cooked bear stew. Guy gave me a couple pounds of bear, bear meat. And, I, you know, when you go camping, typically everyone's got their little campsite and they're all uh, being with their family. But, you know, I, I'm a kind of an extrovert. And uh, I invited all the campsites to come enjoy my, my beef stew. That was made a lot of ambassadors that day. You know, we have over 6,700 ambassadors now. Fantastic. Okay, so it's almost brown. You can't quite see it. This is a low-end production. If you uh, do this professionally with um, a team, you have a couple cameras, but you know what browning meat looks like. It's just about there. I'm having fun eating my pico de gallo, drinking my beer. Got to have fun in the kitchen. Teach the kids to cook. The more you know, the easier your life is. And the more value, valuable you are to others. I once charged $700 to cook a meal. Marina Del Rey. Salmon. It was delicious. So, if you like what I'm doing here, and you like the Be Fantastic philosophy, and the three commitments to kindness, please subscribe, like, and share. I'm very happy to report that as of the last week, <clears throat> every day, someone's deciding to be an admin in their village, city, or town, and um, people are deciding to be directors. I have, my goal is to have one director in every country, 195 countries, and one admin in every city. There's 10,000 cities. Imagine how, if we can accomplish this, or when we accomplish this, I should say, be a, possibly and practically the, the most positive person on the planet. Uh, when we accomplish this, it's going to be quite, quite amazing. It's going to be fantastic. Okay, so... I'm ready to put the ingredients in. Let me get a tablespoon. I've got some sort of a tablespoon. But what we're going to do here, okay, let's make sure this is right. It's two tables, teaspoons. So I'm going to get a teaspoon. Oh, this is a teaspoon. This thing's a teaspoon in here. That's a quarter teaspoon. This is one teaspoon. This little guy here. So it calls for two teaspoons of parsley. Made a mess in my book here. Damn. You know, sometimes you make a mess. That's why it's good to have an assistant that, <laughs> that cleans up the mess. Okay, so two parsleys. Let's see how we go here. I usually a bit never measure, but there's one. Two. There we go. Look at that. I just bought this today because we didn't have any. Okay. One teaspoon of rosemary. Look at that. There we go. It's a little bit more powerful, I guess. That's why it's only one. And one teaspoon of thyme. Does anybody really know what time it is? Does anybody really care? And there's the thyme. Okay, so that's the spices. Salt and pepper, of course. I'll do that in a minute. Woo! Mix it up. Now it's all brown. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. And I believe it calls for some Worcestershire sauce. Because for a teaspoon of that, I believe, that's a teaspoon. 
got to love uh, that stuff. Uh, calls for garlic. Now, I put um, two, a little bit more than two cloves in the mashed potatoes, and this is about two cloves in there. Got to love garlic. Also calls for garlic powder. Calls for oh, two, two teaspoons of, of flour. Let's get that going. Okay, two teaspoons or two tablespoons? Two tablespoons of powder. So we're going to go just the regular spoon. One. This gives it a little thickening. Two. You know, baking is tough. Cooking is easy because, you, you know, you, could, you can't make too many mistakes. If you like garlic, put more in it. If you don't like garlic, don't put it in it, you know. Oh, smelling, smelling fantastic. Okay, so what else we need here? Broth. Cup of beef broth. That was from a powder. Hmm. Thought I mixed that pretty well. These plastic uh, spatulas are great. They get everything out. And we're going to put in a cup of corn. They said they called for frozen corn. Couldn't find frozen corn. Peas and carrots. I took the juices out of those cans. Tablespoon of, two tablespoons, I believe it is. Two tablespoons, yep, of tomato paste. Woo, that's a lot right there. You can't, you can't put too much in. Okay, let's mix that all up. Are you enjoying this? <laughs> Wish you could join me for it. Starting to look very colorful here. You got the red, I mean, you got the orange, you got the yellow, or the red of the paste, of course. Oh, it's looking very nice. Let's see if I forgot anything. Well, let's get some pepper in there. You got to have pepper. Teaspoon of pepper. See how that was exactly measured? This is Himalayan pink salt. I might be, go to the Himalayans. You know, I'm, I'm supposed to go to Sri Lanka on middle of the month for speech. If it happens, great. If it doesn't happen, wasn't meant to be. Um, and so if I, if I don't go there, because I am leaving the island, I'll probably go to, like, Mexico and all those uh, countries in that area. What do they call it? Central America? I know it's a little dangerous, but danger is my middle name. Okay, that's looking pretty darn good. Can you see that from there? Look at that. Yeah, it's looking very good. Shepherd's pie, a very uh, hearty meal. Oh, I'm gaining so much weight. <laughs> it's a little ridiculous, but I know I can lose it. It's just, you know, it took me five months to gain it. See, a lot of people, they gain weight over years, and then they, they, they want to go to the gym, and they, they think they're going to lose it in three months. If you put on weight and didn't exercise for five years, figure it's going to take five years to take it off. I mean, you could really kill yourself and um, get it off quicker, but why kill yourself? Just eat less and exercise more. That's all. Real simple. Mm. Okay. I think I got everything. Got the flour, Worcestershire. Corn, vegetables, broth, paste, flour, garlic, Worcestershire sauce, thyme, rosemary. Got it all in there. So now, the meat's cooked. Again, you don't have to cook it all up. You mix it all up because it's going to bake. It's going to bake. So you don't really have to cook the corn right now. Now. Oh, did I put the garlic powder in yet? I don't think so. It called for garlic. Not see. There's garlic salt and there's garlic powder. I knew I forgot something. Eh, if I forgot it, that's okay. It's not such a bad thing. I don't know why why they would call for garlic powder, not garlic salt. But I had both, so call for garlic. If you don't have garlic powder, maybe put all three: garlic powder, salt, and real garlic. So it's garlicky. Okay, so now. Okay. 
casserole dish. Can you see that okay? Okay, here we go. There we go. Look at that. And you're going to bake it for 45 minutes, 325. Now, as this is the first time making this, it was a pound of, of um, a pound of uh, lamb, as you saw there. Then, look at this. It's, it's coming out nicely. You, you make a layer of the, it was on top like that. Hopefully I made enough. It was two large potatoes. And I tell you, I'm going to use that recipe for um, every time I make <coughs> mashed potatoes. Typically, I like it uh, chunky, but uh, this called for creamy, so I made it creamy. And I just got to make sure that I get enough to cover the whole thing, which I'm getting close, so I'm not doing. I should have had a, I should have made another potato, but like I say, this is my first time trying it. I think it's coming out fairly close. Got to love these spatulas. It's a layer. You know, it's not the end of the world if you didn't see that. Look at that. Now, what? Um, I'm not sure if they call for the Parmesan to be put on top, but it wouldn't hurt to put a layer of, of cheese on top. Look at that, guys. Mmm, you know, this is some fantastic potatoes then you bake it you bake it in a little while I'm not gonna bake it right now and there you go uh, what else can I say have fun in the kitchen don't be afraid to, um, but it is dangerous sharp, knives are sharp so be careful of that uh, the other day I was making french fries to go with the tartare and I put them in a little bit too fast and it's uh, um, it splattered and I burned my finger so that's a bummer but that's life in the kitchen. And I, was, I didn't wear my apron. Shit. I hope you heard all that. <laughs> what can you do? It's live TV. I didn't notice that. It went inside like that. Hopefully you heard everything. If not, that's life. Have a fantastic day. And uh, like, subscribe, and share.